Well, hello everyone. How are you today? I am doing well. Uh, just want to talk a bit about some of my self-taught skills and some of the things that I like to do and and stuff like that. So it's going to be about my self-taught skills. So many of my skills are self-taught. I taught myself. I think the best thing you you can do is teach teach yourself. Now. Um, certainly you can learn a lot from classes and I've learned a lot from classes like like if I'm learning a new software you know I I can watch a bunch of tutorials but unless you actually do it unless you actually uh, follow the examples follow some of the guides then you won't really master it so I know when I started a lot of the software that I've used a lot of it was me going in trying to figure things out and if I got frustrated, then that's a, that's not a good sign right there. Because when you're getting frustrated at it, then you're not likely to return to it. Because you don't feel as though... You have to enjoy it, is what it is. You have to enjoy what you're doing. So, whenever I learned a software and I felt that frustration, like, okay, let's, let's hold up. Let's look up online how you do this and that. And then experiment with it. Try these different things. And then when, when I would do it, I'd be like, gosh, I... I I can't make it as good as them. Instead of thinking it like that, I would think, wow, look how amazing that is. I'm learning. Look at what I've been able to do. When you view it like that, then your accomplishments go a long way. It's like, wow. That's how you should always view your work. You should always view your work as a big accomplishment, even if it's not as good as maybe you hoped it would be. You can still look at it like, wow, that is amazing. And that's what I do. Sometimes it's some of my work that I do. I just keep looking at it like, oh my gosh, it's so, it just looks so amazing. I can't, I can't wait to actually release it. Whether it be video or um, audio or web or just anything. It's just I'm so proud, you know, of my work. Image, image even, video, audio, image, media, any of that type of stuff. So, yeah, I'm always so proud of that. Um... So, what are my self-taught skills? I think the first one that I learned was video editing. I learned that in, like, I guess my... Prior to me even being a teenager, I think. Music, actually, no, prior to that, I was doing, like, mixing, like, like audio mixing, like DJ stuff. Like, that was when I was, like, nine or ten years old. I had like this mixer on, and it would use these cassette tapes and I would mix songs. It sounded, I still have all the CDs that I made of all my recordings after I recorded it on the, on the cassette tape and initially it sounded awful. Like it, they were not on sync and all that crap. Then I got really good at it and it sounded pretty good. And now, now, now I'm like kind of like a pro at it. I, I can do it really well. I have this nice software that can help me do it. And it sounds great, looks great, and not looks great, but sounds great. And just, it is great. So that, that I think was like the first one. Then the video editing, where I started uh, doing um, videos from video games. I would um, extract the videos and make like a DVD movie of it. Um, and that was something that was a very big passion as my, of mine as well. And a lot of the video games have a really good storylines, so I wanted to see it as like a movie. That's why. Um, but, you know, video games, you there's a lot of parts that you play through. So what ends up happening is in the video, it's, it's like a skip. You have one scene of this monster coming. Next thing you know... <laughs> the monster dead. It's like, well, how did that happen? Well, because it's a video game, you fight the monster. <laughs> so you don't actually see that. But, you know, just knowing that, um, you know, it's a video game, then it kinda, it's kind of understandable, but still, it's very good. <sighs> and then a little bit after that, I learned um, web design. And that's like, again, you know, all these skills, I still utilize all, all of them. Web design is another one I've just drastically improved. I learn HTML, CSS, PHP. I know, oh, JavaScript now, and also WordPress now. So 
jQuery, um, part of JavaScript, I know, much easier than just JavaScript, but gosh, I just remember just starting that stuff, and it was like so intimidating for me because I didn't know how to do anything. I would watch these tutorials, I would follow along using this program, and it was good. And, you know, when you start out, you're kind of, you know, a noob about it. I used like a temp template for an old, old website many, many years ago, like back in 2006. Um, but it still looks so good. I mean, back in 2006, the websites, they looked a lot different than they do now. Like back then you had to be so strict with what you put as code on the page. It had to be... Um, valid HTML or it just wouldn't display correctly. Now most browsers will correct that for you. Like if you have one tag that's messed up or one thing that's messed up, it'll fix it for you. Back then, it wouldn't do that. It You had to be so strict and so careful with everything. And it was very, it was much harder to do stuff as it is now. So back then it was much harder. You know, if I started learning now, it would be, it'd be much easier just just to get just to get into. Um, but it's also a lot more complex now. Back then, it was much more simple. I mean, you had, you know, just you didn't have to have all these different files of things, and there, you know, there was just a software you would use. And now there's all these different file formats that, that you compile together with all these different variables of all this stuff, and it's a lot more complex. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I, I went from static HTML to PHP code connected to a database, um, searching through the database. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Even like dynamic image sizes, like if, um, like if in in the URL you could type in width of a hundred, and it would increase it to a hundred or a thousand, increase it to a thousand. You know, I wish I could do that on on my current site now. That'd be cool. But WordPress, WordPress.org blogs do not do that. So, so now you know I got into WordPress for my site. Um, I'm, I'm redesigning my entire site, as I've mentioned before. It's looking so good. I only have like, like the um, one, one uh, set of pages complete. There's still a lot more work to do, but it just, oh, it just looks so amazing so far. It really does. So I'm really excited to release that. Um, I was hoping it, hoping it for, for it to be by the end of the year, but I'm not sure if that it'll be like that. Um, I would have to say, because there's still a lot more work to, to do on it. Because I'm kind of rebuilding it all from scratch. But I still have all the original code there, so it's kind of more like I'm going through it very slowly and just copying over the parts that I still need, but redoing like everything else. So, <laughs> so it's going to be great, and it's going to be much easier now to update and edit. So that's ultimately why I, I'm, I'm doing this. So, yeah. So yeah, all these skills are all self-taught. I mean, all the videos that I do, self-taught. Um, you know, I didn't take any, you know, I didn't learn this stuff in school. I mean, there there were classes in school um, that I could have learned, but I didn't. Oh, the other skill that I have is image editing. I've edited some amazing images. If you've seen some of the Photoshop skills that I've done and stuff, pretty impressive stuff, I'd say. I'm not, you know, not... Again, I'm not super pro in all this stuff. Like sometimes I'll view um, the 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 web design and the web programming, all the PHP code. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> I'm not that skilled at it. Or like the JavaScript. I'm like, I don't know what that means. I don't I don't know how to do that. I mean, I do it a certain way. Or what I'll do is I'll search on, on online. How do you do this? You know, and then I'll just copy and paste the code, but I'll alter it. I'll make it my own. So that's that's also what I what I do a lot of times as well because that you know I could have I could look up online like like if I want to build something on the website and I need like five different components to to do it and I don't know how to build all of them 
I'll look up it online, like, oh, okay, here's one. I'll copy and copy and paste that. I'll go through it. I'll try. I'll figure it out what it means, and then I'll alter it to my specifications, what I like, what I need for it, and then I will, you know, just implement the other things, and it'll be all good. So, yeah, I'm just putting that all together and learning that and. The ultimate thing is you you know when you're good at something if you can teach it to someone else which I think I can I can certainly do I mean no one's ever asked me for any kind of help like that <laughs> you know I don't want to teach someone else how to do HTML and video and that sort of stuff but um, I could I could and it and it's fun to do it to someone who doesn't know anything because it's like you're you know you're like oh it's a much easier way of doing that. And I'm sure there are people who could look at me and go, wow, you're doing it so difficult. This, you do this one thing and make it so much simpler. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, yep. Self-taught with all of it. Learning through, you know, practice. Learning through, you know, watching courses and, and doing them. Learning through um, seeing other people do something. Copying what they they do, maybe some of their code or maybe some of the, you know, just, just examples and just implementing it and altering it and changing it and then making it my own, which that's how, that's how you learn. So, yep, self-taught, self-taught. So, that was all. That was all for now. Um, I will talk to you all later. You have a wonderful day and night. Uh, the new year is approaching very soon. I think I'm going to do a New Year's live stream on my autumn channel. So be going to look out for that. It's going to be exciting. You get to spend New Year's with me. Yeah. So that's all. You have a wonderful day and night. And I'll talk to you later. Okay. Bye-bye.